Hey guys, so I've seen a lot of videos about drone frames and things and I wanted to give a good explanation about what a honeycomb sandwich panel drone frame is and why it's important and relevant in our evolution of technology in this space. So first, I want to give a little background on what a honeycomb panel is. It's basically what is two sheets of carbon fiber or fiberglass or something like that, any kind of material. And the inside is a, it's like a beehive. That's why they call it a honeycomb. And it's flexible and it can bend around. Let me go get some actually. So here's two examples of the honeycomb. This is a paper one. We've made a paper. And then back here, we have aluminum. And you can see here the cells look like a honeycomb from beehive. And here's a couple samples I made of beams. See, you get sandwiched between the fiber. And I was doing these for testing. You can see I broke a few to understand how it works, but you can see how it's bonded to the honeycomb. Okay, right, so these carbon fiber sheets are bonded to the honeycomb and what it does is gives you a very stiff structure with very low density and weight for its strength. Why would you choose a honeycomb sandwich panel over a round, round carbon fiber or square stock you can buy off the internet? And that is primarily because of weight savings. So you can get a similar strength part in the bending loading that you're going to use on a quadcopter and compared to square stock it's going to be about about two-thirds the weight so 30 percent lighter or so and compared to round stock probably about 40 percent lighter because you get a little extra little extra beef there in the roundness it's not the most efficient shape for the specific application of drones so that's why you would really want this what does honeycomb mean for drone frames so here i got an image of the drone frames I made here and each of these arms on the frame is a honeycomb panel here you can see that and these are just absurdly stiff I can bend them as hard as I want and <laughs> it's not gonna happen I could go and do a video on this if anybody's interested about the engineering behind these why they use them in aerospace and those types of applications and their advantages but I will mention that the density of these arms is about 0 0.5 grams per cubic centimeter which is pretty pretty light considering I calculated they were about two-thirds the weight of traditional carbon fiber square tube the same size so this is going to be a fun little build regardless. I'm going to give you guys a, uh, a little weight test here. This frame by itself was just under 500 grams. Just the frame and it's, it's a 900 millimeter. So you can get an idea about what kind of weight savings. You can shave off five or 600 grams. That's a, another battery half a battery, depending, but there, 1.138 yeah, kilograms part. So add the battery props. So that's ready to fly, basically. So that's a little rundown on why these things are fucking skookum. Yeah, I can. This thing's not going anywhere. Pretty hardcore learn something about honeycomb sandwich panels and uh, drone frames and their importance 
Let me know, leave something in the comments if you want to learn something new about it, more engineering behind it, how to make it, anything like that, why it's important to, to use it. Let me know and uh, we'll follow up with something new. Cheers.